Welcome back to Tahoe today in the studio with me this morning is Jill Dobbs from the Humane Society of Truckee Tahoe. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having us. This, this is a very exciting time for us. Oh so my gosh. Glad to be here. You have all <laughs> kinds of stuff going on over in Truckee right now. It's a new facility that we're, you're, you're breaking ground on, correct? That's correct. We're always so busy in the summer having lots and lots of events for our operations. But the big push right now for us is to complete our fundraising for our new shelter. That's exciting. It sounds it like a fan, it's going to be a fantastic facility and you're working mm -hmm. with the town of Truckee. So this is a collaboration effort. Exactly. Right? And it's we're incredibly just so proud of this relationship we have with them because public private partnerships like this are pretty rare. You know, it takes a little additional work on both sides to make it happen, but it's really worth it because this way we avoid building duplicate duplicative facilities yeah. and we can just continue to work together and continue our partnership so and we're really excited for a fantastic cause i mean the humane society nationally always does a, a great is a great thing tell us a little bit about what the humane society of truckee tahoe does locally. absolutely so we're not affiliated with the humane society of the united states that's okay. kind of a misnomer that a lot of people think it's all one big organization and it isn't Every Humane Society is its own individual organization. So yeah. the Humane Society of Truckee Tahoe, we're dedicated to saving and improving the lives of pets with our community spay and neuter programs, our humane education programs, our adoption programs, of course, and also our pet therapy programs. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So how can people uh, find out more about uh, places to donate. You have a campaign going now called Heroes Now and Forever. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and where people can get more information on that. We do, absolutely. Our Heroes Now and Forever campaign is our final push to raise the final amount of money that we need for this facility. We've raised enough to start construction, which is really important because costs are always rising as we know. Yes, yes. So we're expecting to break ground this week and it's incredibly wow. exciting. So the Heroes campaign, we're asking a thousand people to donate a thousand dollars for that final amount of money. And the response so far has just been incredibly positive. People are so excited that their thousand dollar donation can make such a tangible, real difference in saving the lives of thousands of animals. You can pay it all in one lump sum. You can do two $500 payments, or we'll even take four $250 payments. Because again, we just we want everyone in the community to be able to get involved at whatever their giving level is. Totally. Um, it's also really important that people help us spread the word. And they can do that by sending everyone that they meet and all of their <laughs> friends and family to theydeservebetter.org. Okay. And we just we need to do this for our animals because we know that they would do it for us. Absolutely. And now it's our turn to do it for them. Totally. And and Tahoe Truckee, we love our animals. We, we absolutely do. love our animals. I, I couldn't. I would. I don't think I could do a trail runner, a bike ride, or something without my dog with me. You know, exactly. we just that there are children, and so it's what part you're of doing our lifestyle. Is, yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. What can people see? I mean, we were talking during the commercial break. Um, mm -hmm. This facility sounds pretty. It's a nice facility. What are some of the things people can expect as they watch it being built? Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the things going into it. Absolutely. We've worked really hard on this shelter. It's been in the planning stages for about 10 years and we've designed it so that it can hold, um, you know, so it can fulfill our needs now as well as in the future based on projected growth. Um, it's actually under 10,000 square feet, so it's really the perfect size. It's not going to be big and ostentatious, but it's going to give us the room. Um, where we are now, thanks to the town of Truckee, they've loaned us a sort of temporary kennel facility where we can keep some of our animals. But that facility only holds about eight dogs and 30 cats. Wow. And at any given time, we'll have 30 dogs and 80 cats. Totally. totally. So we've had to build an extensive foster network. Um, and, you know, we work really hard to keep our animals in the shelter from becoming susceptible to stress induced illnesses or, you know, just such a stressful environment for them. So it's really important that we give them the adequate space that they need. And again, we're building this in conjunction with town, so um, their animal services will be operating out of the same building. And so that's really allowed us to, to be able to be efficient by only building one facility to house both of those operations. Where's it going to be located when people drive, when people mm -hmm. want to come see what's going on? Where, where, where can they find that? We'd love to people, have people stop by and check things out. It's at the new Town of Truckee Corporation Yard which if you're heading along Donner Pass Road towards the interstate, it's on the right-hand side where the new Forest Service building is. Okay. So it sits up on a bluff. It's a nice treed area. There'll be great places to walk our animals and 
we're so excited. It's going to have awesome. a lot of natural light for them, some fabulous cat colonies for the cats to just help them thrive. And the most important thing is it's going to be open to the public daily, whereas our facility now is only open two hours a week. Really? So it's wow. re yeah. That's a huge difference. Huge what a fantastic difference. thing to look forward to. Exactly. We'll be able to increase our adoptions in all of our programs. Theydeservebetter.org. Theydeservebetter.org. Because they do. The one. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because like you said, they do it for us. Exactly. <laughs> and we need to do it for them. Jill, thank you com for coming in this morning. Humane Society of Truckee Tahoe looking to push for that, uh, looking for the funds to um, finish off their new shelter facility over there in Truckee. Fantastic cause. Theydeservebetter.org if you would like to contribute to that cause. You are definitely invited to do so. Mm -hmm. so thank you for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we'll see you again soon and we'll keep Fantastic. an eye on that uh, facility starting to be mm -hmm. built here, uh, groundbreaking this coming week. We have more Tahoe Today coming up.